618. Did you have a good weekend, Laura? I did. Wonderful, relaxing. How was yours? How was your Father's Day? My Father's Day was fantastic. Had a fan wonderful day. My daughter was in town. We had a great time going around and checking things out. So, wonderful day. Weather forecast was not bad either. Mm. Should I thank Matt once for that? Or I guess I have to thank <laughs> yeah, him when it goes not? bad, too, Let's right? To blame him. him when it goes bad, right? <laughs> You know, Russ and Laura, I was on vacation up until yesterday, so uh, I cannot claim any good or bad weather before that point. But yesterday we could take, it was a hot Father's Day once again. I was showing some stats last night. Temperatures have been at or above 90 for four out of the last five Father's Day. So something about Father's Day brings on the heat around here. Uh, but we had the rainfall that has really been uh, not just great for our lawns and gardens, but also for kind of squelching some of that heat as well. But it is thick outside. Here's your forecast tonight. You notice how we are drying things out. That's the good news. But temperatures with this thick, humid air are only going to fall into the low 70s, upper 60s for some of you. So a warm, murky night out ahead of us. But conditions are certainly improving. We had a tornado warning earlier for Trumbull County. Uh, nothing officially touched down with that that we know of. Uh, some reports of a wall cloud. Uh, just a rogue cell that was rotating along an area low pressure that is now long gone. We're still dealing with the cloudiness in Lake Geauga, Ashtabula County. The rest of us have turned to sunshine, and we're starting to heat up even before that sunset. But the rain has fallen anywhere from about a half an inch to as much as two inches of rainfall uh, today alone in Portage and areas of Trumbull County this afternoon did have some minor flooding issues from that uh, that has since receded as well look at the sunshine we've got pretty uh, partly to mostly clear skies is what we'll call it tonight, but a lot of activity back towards Chicago. That's tomorrow's forecast. We'll likely deal with a line of showers and thunderstorms tomorrow morning off of what forms from that, and that is along a cold front, and that cold front's going to bring more relief in here midweek. Temperatures right now, though, coolest where we've been stuck in the clouds, warm us off towards the west. Combine that with the thick humidity, we've got feels like temperatures in the mid-80s near Mansfield, but the humidity is going to lay on thick tonight, and it's not going to go away until Wednesday. Day, that's when that front really starts to bring in that drier air. Your National Design Mart Hour by Hour forecast. You can see how we dry things out tonight. A great evening to head out, take a walk. Here's the leftover activity tomorrow morning. I do think we'll wake up to some rain and rumbles working in from the west. That will likely clear the area around lunchtime, and we'll have to see if another line develops later in the afternoon. If it doesn't, we're done, but if it does, we could see some stronger thunderstorms later in the day. Refreshing air arrives tomorrow night on into Wednesday, and Wednesday we may have some lingering moisture at maybe a shower or two around, otherwise just drier air, and I think we'll all be breathing some sigh of relief after that. So Wednesday, Thursday with the Universal Windows Direct 7-day forecast, much drier, but then the heat and humidity returns for the weekend with temperatures back up into the 80s. We'll be back with more coming up after the break.